In this video, learn how your students can practice their math skills by playing this fun game, Guardians Defenders of Mathematica. Welcome to my channel, my name is Rich, and if you like videos about edtech or technology in general, consider subscribing to this channel because I'll be publishing new videos each week, and no, my voice doesn't always sound like this, I'm just getting over a cold. So now let's get started with this cool video game. So I'm going to start on the website plays.org. Now I recently reviewed plays.org in a full length video. Feel free to check it out. But once I get to plays.org, all I'll have to do is find Guardians, Defenders of Mathematica, and select play. Guardians, Defenders of Mathematica. So this is a really fun game. It's a full length fantasy game that is going to encourage students to play this quite often and hopefully make it a lot of fun to practice as they develop their skills. So once I play, the first step it's going to ask me to do is to create a new game. It will allow students to save their progress so they can continue this game day after day, hopefully. So I'm just gonna start from the scratch from scratch. The first thing I can do is select my character. I'll just select this ranger and then click battle. next. And the first thing that it will do the once ranger. you start out is to play in the battle area. Before this will orient new players with how the game is going to work. In each battle, you will face 10 questions. For every question you get correct, damage will be dealt to the enemy. However, Get an answer wrong, and you will feel the full force of Okay, the so it kind of gave you the directions. Steps. How this will work is this is a battle questions. with a different click character. It's going to help answer. walk me through to pick the question. So I answered a question right. It's going to give me one hit on them. So now I just have to reorder pick those. And drag the answers There's several different them. options for answering questions. Sometimes you type, sometimes you drag, sometimes you reorder. Now these are very simple questions, as you'll see the questions are going to get a little bit harder in the actual game, which is why I would recommend probably an elementary level, maybe grades second through fourth, but again, depending on your students. Now, after you go through and you win a battle, you win this type of weapon. This is a weapon or an accessory, and the goal is to win as many battles to get these accessories, and now when I go into battle, I can use this accessory. There's a whole bunch of different ones that I can earn. And now I can go in and choose from a number of different battles to play. These are going to show up on a map in a second, but you can see some of the themes. There's a time test, times tables, there is place value, addition and subtraction. That's probably a good one to start. Now, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, but it mentioned for students to get a pencil and paper. Some of the math facts that it's going to give them are going to be a little bit challenging. They will need to write down the math and kind of solve it. Addition and subtraction, Shire. So here's an example. This question. The outcome of this can only be negative. Typically what I would do as a student is I would write this down and I would work it out. And there's a direct hit. Now let's see what happens if I enter a incorrect answer. There we go, our battle is now a little bit even. And you'll notice that based on my incorrect answer, it now has given me a question that's going to be a little bit easier for me to answer. So you get an idea how this works. So let's speed this up a little bit so you get an idea of how the battles play out. There it goes, I answered seven or more questions correct. That means I win. There is my first shield. I have collected points, I've collected a shield, and now I am ready to play this either again or to check out some of the other lands. Remember, if I collect four different shields that will allow me to have a new weapon like this owl that's up here as well, a weapon or an accessory. 
And that's it. Now I do want to show you this. Here's one way that you can share this game with students. You want to go to plays.org again and find it on the website, which is right over here. Now the link that you're going to share, I wouldn't necessarily share this link because if students click on this link, it's going to be really easy for them to find other types of games that may not be math based games. But if you click this link at the bottom right over here, it's going to launch this in a regular window and you can take this link right over here, copy this link. And I'm going to go into Google Classroom, but this can really be any learning management system that you have. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create an assignment, and I'm just going to call this one Math Fact Practice. I could add my instructions below if I wanted to. And then I'm just going to go to the link, and I am going to paste what I had copied. So now when my students go in and they click on their assignment, they can just open the link. It's going to open in that full window. It will not give them the option to play any of the other games on plays.org. So again, if you're looking for a way for your students to practice their math facts, I definitely considered going to plays.org and checking out Guardians Defenders of Mathematica.